Hey guys, it's Boy here, and today we're going to talk about why Sven is a counter to Bristleback. A lot of people don't really understand why pro players go for Sven against BB, besides Warcry giving armor to our allies in AoE. Bristle is a very fast hero, and usually as a Sven, when you go for a tanky hero, you'll be chasing and hitting the enemy in the back, which is beneficial for the Porcupine. To understand why the hero works well against BB, you need to understand Bristleback better. The passive, not the hero. Well, it's kind of the same. Anyways, Bristleback reduces damage that is dealt in the sides and back of this guy, everyone knows that, but the passive procs you get with the hero only happen when you deal 210 damage to his back and not the sides. Nothing huge yet. The thing is about how the damage is processed by the game. It doesn't matter whether you deal uh, 1 to 110, 1 to 111 or a 10,000 damage instance, it will only proc one quill. The fact that when ulted, you deal massive amounts of damage at once actually reduces the overall damage that Bristle can output in a game. This is the big thing. Look at it working here. That's not the only reason why Sven is so good in mid and late game against Bristle. Provided you're similar in net worth, since you always go for Blink Dagger, you can always adjust your position to attack him from the front, and it's a lot of burst damage being dealt on the front right away, so that's good. Since you always go for a crit in the hero, you only enhance what I talked about the passive and stuff. If you search on Dota buff, you're actually going to see that Bristle has uh, kind of an advantage against Sven. But I feel like that's mostly because uh, in pubs, Bristles are in the off lane and Sven's are in the safe lane, and they kind of win the lane against Sven, unless you have good supports and understand what, what's happening. Uh, but overall, pro players actually, they, they get Sven against Bristle because they, they know they're gonna have an okay lane. But yeah, if you don't have the right supports, maybe you shouldn't pick Sven last against a Bristle, uh, especially if you have a jungler or a roamer. Um, he is actually quite decent against Sven in the lane, he's gonna cripple you, you're gonna have to go for like an early uh, mask of, for an early morbid mask and eventually it's gonna be very bad. It's always a good idea to bring mangoes and clarities to you in the lane because provided you get one kill he is the type of hero that will go back and actually try to kill you not go to the jungle having the mana to constantly harass him and maybe get a kill is always important when playing against bristle well this wraps up for today if you enjoyed this video please guys give it a thumbs up there is actually no extended version of this video but pugna is a big platform where you can learn from people like chessy fog munib Waga and get better at the game. I just uploaded a bunch of new tutorials there. They mainly talk about core power spikes, so if you're interested, please uh, take a look there. And also, my crowdfunding is ending. If you still want to help, if you want to promote it, the link is in the description. Feel free to do anything you want, and yeah, bye!